The time has come. The time to take your networks to the next level. To 100 gigabits per second. And what better way to start this journey than with your main core router, the Cloud Core Router. I'm proud to introduce our new flagship product in a second Cloud Core Router series, CCR2216. Let's jump straight ahead to the specifics. This device uses the same 16-core, 64-bit ARM version 8 CPU as the previously announced CCR2116, with one gigabit Ethernet port, 12 SFP28 cages for 25 gigabit networking, and two QSFP28 cages for the 100 gigabit connectivity. And all that comes in standard 1U rack mount form factor. Off to a good start with 600 gigabits worth of ports there. Now, we all know there's no general purpose CPU that possibly can handle all that traffic, right? Especially when some packet processing is required. You would need a dedicated ASIC for that. Don't you worry, I have got you covered. Let me introduce you to the main part of this device. This is Marvel Prestera Aldrin 2 chip. A 24 by 25 gigabit switch chip that can reach wire speeds on all the ports. But that's not all. It has an impressive set of layer 2 and layer 3 hardware offloading capabilities. The most common features already implemented in Router S version 7 and we are working day and night to implement even more. So, 24 25 gigabit lanes. 12 of those connect to the 12 SFP28 cages for 25 gigabit networking. 8 lines connect to the two 100 gigabit QSFP28 cages and four lines connect to the Amazon Annapurna Labs 16-core CPU. And this is the reason why this model is called 2216, not 2116. Instead of four 10G lines to the CPU, this switch chip has four 25G lines to the CPU. Speaking of CPU, most Layer 3 hardware offloading features would not be possible without a powerful CPU. It keeps track of all the connections offloaded and not, and makes adjustments in real time. Since the amount of the connections that can be hardware offloaded is limited, the CPU has to decide which connections need to be placed into hardware offloading and which connections need to be taken off and processed by the CPU itself. And there's the cool part. Even on its own, without all the switch chip hardware offloading features, this 16-core CPU can still trade blows with 72-core tile CPU from our previous flagship, the CCR1072. But the new switch chip combined with the new CPU dominates over previous flagship. With the new CCR you are getting the performance of the whole fleet instead of just a single flagship. And CCR2216 will only get better with time. It should already be the best rotor in your setup by a wild margin, but with upcoming rotaries updates and new hardware offloading features unlocked, it will get even better in the future. This mighty board comes with 16 gigabytes of RAM, a decent NAND storage, two M.2 SATA slots, there are four hot swappable fans, as well as two 150 watt power supplies. Can't go wrong with dual redundancy. These power supplies might be familiar if you have used CCR 1072 before. The new board takes only 80 watts of power plus whatever power the SFP modules use. That's another reason why the 2216 is perfect drop-in upgrade for 1072 users. It provides better performance, improved connectivity options, lower power consumption, and you get to use all your previous SFP modules and power supply units. That's a bargain with capital B. A nice start to 100 gigabit era, don't you think? Please leave your comments and questions below. For more information, contact the Microtech distributors and hurry up. I have a hunch this product will fly off the shelves pretty fast.